Okay, I'm going to show you how you can make your horn louder if it's not at the maximum volume level. Horns have a, a an adjustment screw. Okay, here it is on the back of the horn that came on my Motoguzzi Norge. Right there. They uh, put some dope on it so it wouldn't move. It wasn't very loud. Uh, this was uh, the original Venture horn. There's the adjustment screw right there. Here is a Vox Bell horn that used to come uh, stock on Moto Guzzi's. There is the adjustment screw for the volume. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I shut the garage door so I don't uh, alarm the neighbors if uh, they're listening. There, everybody's out. It's a nice day. So I've uh, rigged this up, robbing the power from my lawnmower battery. All right, I'm going to hook up. I've already got the negative hooked up. Now the electricity has to pass through the horn from the negative on the battery through the horn to the other post and then through the hot wire all the way back to the positive terminal on the back battery. <laughs> Thought I got shocked there. Okay, so I'm going to hook this up and I'm going to turn that screw and watch what happens to the volume. That's a good volume right there. That horn is adjusted. Let's try the other one. These come, these uh, Vox Bell stock Motoguzzi horns used to come in pairs in the 70s and the 80s. Okay, here's the lead horn with four terminals. The reason for four terminals is power comes to the horn, through the horn, okay? And there's a, another battery, or another uh, horn in the set, so these two additional terminals go to this horn. You can wire it in series or in parallel. You could bring a positive to one side of either horn out the other side to one side of the the mate and from that side to ground you can bring hot jumper to ground or you can do hot to hot and ground to ground they work either way all right let's see if we can get this horn to fire off okay let's hook up the negative Where's the adjustment screw? Right down the bottom, okay. Okay. This one's even louder. This horn does not need adjusted. It's already ear piercing. That's what I like about them. To uh, show you in comparison, how loud these horns are. Let's light off this uh, Moto Guzzi Norge horn that came stock on my Norge, which I uh, sold. And I contacted the guy I sold it to and asked him if he was tired of it yet and wanted to sell it back to me, and he said, Not a chance. So I am. Uh, Kind of shopping for another Gutsy right now. All right, 
need the hot. Hmm. That's, uh, that's not bad, but out in the real world, it was not, not very loud. And when you have two, two's better than one when it comes to horns. If you're feeding them through large enough wire. If you're letting them go get fed through the... Let me take this off. If you're uh, feeding them through the puny little wire harness wire, uh, that's not enough and you end up blowing the fuse a lot of times because you're pulling too many amps through skinny wire, which is high resistance. But anyway, that is how you adjust the volume on horns. Now, I see these horns not working. That's where I, I bought these. I drilled out the rivets, took them apart, and cleaned the points. The points are a contact in there that this diaphragm, this metal speaker cone, uh, vibrates, and this controls the stroke of the vibration. Right here, there's a set of points in there. You take these apart and clean that set of points and put them back together. And 99 times out of 100, they're going to work again. Anyway, I thought I would run that by you.